Hey guys, Big Time Collector 01 here, with back with another figure review. I know it's been a while since I've done one, but today we're going to be looking at the DC Multiverse uh, Shriek, the unmasked version. And, surprisingly, I did find the masked version yesterday, so we're going to open him up too. Uh, you did see me open up this guy the other day. The other day I'll put a card up somewhere. But yeah, I did find this guy on the wild yesterday at my local Target, the exclusive version. I didn't record, I know, I'm so stupid, but I was with my grandma, so... But I'm glad I picked this guy up, I can't wait to open him up, I'm very excited to get into the review of both of these guys. So yeah, let's just get to it and crack this guy open. So this being one of my uh, first DC Multiverse figures from like a Build-A-Figure wave, I've never really gotten any of the figures from a from a build a figure wave yet this is my first one and i don't plan to build the joker bot because i don't have the first batman beyond the exclusive version because uh, i missed out on it target just didn't have it at the time they had it street dated oh missed a thing of tape but yeah just it's not something i want to build but if i do get the rest i might as well just get it off of ebay or something because I do want that Batman Beyond. Oh, I forgot. Let's take a look at the packaging first. I totally forgot to do that. But, um, yeah, the back of the box looks great. We get the image of the figures here. They're all the exclusive versions. Got Batman Beyond, the Joker Bot, and Shriek looking awesome. And you got the little Build-A-Figure chart here. Looking great. The Joker Bot looks great. It looks awesome. Then we got the other figures from the Wave here. Uh... Got Batman Beyond coming out March 2021, and then uh, Shriek coming out. And this is these dates are inaccurate because it's August, and this is like this is like June, I think. Um, Batman Beyond comes out October 2021. I can't wait to get her, and then Blight comes out on the on September. Yes, yeah, September. And I can't wait to get him too. I love all these characters. I'm a big Batman Beyond fan. I'm currently watching it right now on HBO Max. We get the whole thing here looking great. You get all the accessories, the build a figure pieces. Looking great. 22 points of articulation. So, yeah, let's open them up. So, yeah, this, again, this is like one of my first figures from a build a figure. Oh, from a build a figure wave. This guy is hefty. Let's get the, the stand out. There we go. So before we take a look at the two figures, let's take a look at their accessories. They both come with these two basic DC Multiverse stands. These are just basic, all black, got the DC logo tampoed on it. Nice. I like. I kind of like these stands. They're very, very small and simplistic. And I like how they had the logos for, depending on what line it's from, Mortal Kombat, Spawn. It's cool. Then the Unmatched Street comes with these two circular sound vibration effects that's actually what it's called from the show to give it a watch it's freaking awesome but these look great i really like how these look these look awesome you have little things uh, for the fingers little slits looking great they're a little they're a little like cupped over which is cool which i like it and um if you're a marvel legends collector out there i i currently do not have my um marvel legends uh, havoc from the from the Juggernaut wave, but if you really wanted to, you could use these as a Havoc effect, which I think is cool. You can, you know, get some sticky tack, put it on the chest. I think that'd be cool. And then the mass target exclusive version comes with this, this effect, which is more of a like a more pulsating effect, which is cool. It's awesome. Shriek is a sound is a sound engineer, which is great, and I like how these are different. I wish it came with a second one of these, but yeah, you can put both of these on either figure, which is great. And they both come with the trading card. Let's take a look at the exclusive version. I really like this figure photography. You got all three of them. It's the same image on the back, but yes. But then you got the um the bio on the back. You get his real name, Walter Shreve. You get his height and his weight. If you want to take a mo moment to read that um bio, just pause it right now. And the bio is the same on both of these. I, I read them both. So, yeah, but they are both great images of the figure. Here's the unmasked version looking awesome. Here's the back of it. Again, if you want to read it, pause it. But it's the same bio, so it doesn't really matter which one you read first. But, yeah, these look great. So, let's get on to the figures themselves. Oh, wait, let me um 
show you how these effects plug into the figure. Let's grab the mat unmasked version. So they're all the same. They have the per the perforations right here. You got the four fingers and the thumb there. So you just want to do this side. You want to just put it like just slide it in there. Just match the thumb uh, the fingers up with the holes. Let's, let's see. It's hard to do this over the camera. <laughs> yeah, you see matching up the fingers there. Yep, there. And then they just slide in like that. Looking great. They look awesome. We'll need to do this one later, but this looks great. I freaking love these effects. So yeah, let's look, take a look at the figures. Start with the mass, unmasked version. So taking a f close look at the unmasked version, the head sculpt looks great. I really like how the sculpting, I love the facial expression on him. It looks great. It looks exactly like Walter Shreve from the cartoon. This is more of the comic look, but I do... We always think of Batman Beyond as from the cartoon, and this just looks great. The body mold is amazing. It's 100% new sculpt, or it's reused from the exclusive, but either way, it's just great. Love all the white and the blue on here. I love the translucent blue. This little sound sound device right here. You can, he turns it. It's great. And just Shriek is an awesome character in general. Just looking great. He's freaking awesome. He's just so fun in the episode with the sound design. And go check out Batman Beyond. It's a great show. And I highly recommend it. I'm currently rewatching season three right now. I'm doing a DCAU marathon. It's great. I love it. But back to the figure. It's looking great. A lot of great sculpting. A lot of great sculpt work. I love these translucent blues here on the chest and on the, you get a little bit on the back and on the hands here. And inside the hand, looking great. Look at that. Freaking awesome. And you get the, then you get the lower here on the legs. I got this little crotch piece here. Looks, it's not like a, it's not like a diaper. It actually works just fine. I like that a lot. It doesn't hinder anything. And this figure has great articulation for a Shriek figure. And I will get to that in a second, but this is so awesome. I love this figure so much. So cool. So yeah, now let's take a look at the mask version, which is not much of a difference. It's just a different head sculpt. But either way, it's so cool. I love this version. I love how this looks. That is so cool. Look at that. Great mask version. Both. Are amazing. I just had to get both because they are, I love Batman Beyond. And once I, like, you know, after getting the unmasked version, I was just like, I already knew what I was getting in for with the, the masked version. Just pure awesomeness right there. Looking great. Yeah. Just, it's the same body mold, just different heads and a different effect. Just, eh, I can't stop geeking out. It's just an amazing figure right here. I really enjoyed them both. They're both great, so yeah, not much of a difference, just the head sculpts. If I were to pick one, I'd just go with the mask version, because that's my preferred look for, Sh for Shriek. But they're just both great, and I like them both. And if you want, you can pop, let's see, yeah, you can pop off this head, and, you know, he can hold hold it like, a ma like his mask. That's cool, I think that's cool, but no one wants to see him hold the mask. You want him wearing it, don't you? Pop that right back on, yeah. And that's another complaint people have with the variants is that just, you know, include, include it with the original figure, and myself included. I really wish we'd get, like, interchangeable heads with the DC Multiverse line. But McFarlane, Todd McFarlane just likes to put out variants, which is actually fine in my opinion, but I just really wish we get more interchangeable parts because... Due to the variant system, we don't get many accessories with all the figures, so that's why he splits them up and then gives us different accessories and different parts with the variants and the exclusives, which I'm not a big fan of, but I'm, I'm a fan of it and not a big fan of it at the same time. So let's get to it and look at this guy's articulation. Essentially, they're the same figure, but let's just look at the head articulation really quick. The mass version could look up that much, can look down that much, it can look side to side. Got a great head pivot, and that's it, pretty much it for the mastery. But then again, same body mold, just different heads. So the mastery can look up a good amount. 
look down that much, look side to side. Great head pivot. And then let's look at the arms. Not that much. And I love how these shoulder pads don't hinder the articulation at all. It's just really well. They're more they're like a pliable piece right here. So it works out just fine. They move out that much. They move forward and back. You got a little butterfly joint right here, a little hidden. See it right there. I know you can't really see it, but yeah, the little butterfly joint, they move forward and back. They got double jointed elbows. Here they're moving very far. Again, for a Shriek figure, it moves in very far, and I like that a lot. You can move the, you can ro rotate the bicep right there. He's got a ball joint in the wrist, so you can move it side to side like that. Which, I, again, I, at first I didn't think there would be an articulation point, but I'm surprised, and it works. And then it, you can move it back and forth. A great range of motion. I didn't think there'd be much, but I'm surprised there's that much. Then you get uh get an upper torso crunch that that much back that much, you get till over there and then you can rotate it. You can move the legs that much and then you can move them forward very high actually. Move them back, double jointed knees, the ankles move up that much, down that much. They move. You got ankle pivot. You can actually rotate the ankle too. So either way, you're going to have different articulation. And he's got toe articulation, which is great. Great toe articulation. And, and this just reminds me of the old toy piss figures. So yeah, let's get to the size comparison, shall we? So digging, so measuring them out. Oh, they, and I got to say, they just look great standing up. I love how arm, long those arms look. But standing them up, they're about... They're about um, eight, seven and a half inches tall. And then, you know, same size between them both. They just look freaking awesome. So let's compare them with some different figures from different lines. Here they are next to the McFarlane Toys Batman Beyond. This is the retail version, not the exclusive. And I think they measure out very nicely. I do think Shriek should be taller than Terry McGinnis, and that works out perfectly here. I think he should be a little bit taller, like maybe two right here. But this is still very perfect. This is really good size work right here and i will take it and i just love how these two look together here they are next to new cybot from mortal kombat 11 again from mcfarland toys here they are next to the todd mcfarland batman also from mcfarland toys and i gotta say i really want to see a old man bruce wayne from this line i know it's a kind of a dumb idea but i really enjoyed him from the show it's just be great to get him with an ace that'd be amazing here they are next to your traditional six inch figure. You know, this is Marvel Legends, Invincible Iron Man, and be tuned because this will not be the last time we see him because I'm gonna review this whole way, so keep so stay tuned for that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review because I really enjoyed these figures and they are freaking awesome. I'm glad to have them both in my collection because I'm a huge Batman Beyond fan. And I highly recommend you go guys watch the show. And tell me, what other figures would you like to see from Batman Beyond? Because I really would like to see more from the show, from the series. It would be great to see. A, I mean, we're already getting Blight, but I'd love to see him in the business suit. I'd love to see a Spellbinder. Again, I'd love to see a Bruce Wayne, an old man Bruce Wayne. in a Royal Flush Gangway would be great. The Jokers. Even a Joker himself. I would even love to see a Mr. Freeze from that. From the Batman Beyond show, he, he comes in in season one. I forgot what episode, but he comes in in season one, and it's a great design. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, because these two are freaking awesome. Again, this is the Target exclusive version of the mask, and that's where you can find it. And this is going to be retail version, where you can find it everywhere, anywhere. I got this guy on Amazon. I got him, obviously, at Target. But you can get these guys anywhere. You can get this guy at Big Bad Toy Store or, you know, Target, Walmart, wherever you get your figures from. But these are both great versions. And a lot of people think it was so stupid to get an unmasked version of Shriek. But it's very significant to the character. Because at the end of Episode 1, Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis defeats Shriek. And he can't hear anymore after that. And he can only hear with the mask on. And so, in a, in his second episode, he uses it to his advantage. His death 
his deafness to his advantage in the episode called Babel. But in the but in the end, it bites him in the back because he can't hear anything and he gets defeated. But he survives somehow. Just go watch the episode. It's great. So yeah, again, I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.